Never, uh, I've never seen this happen before. I've only practiced for 40 years, so maybe I don't have enough experience, but I've never seen it happen. And what I believe is happening is I believe the government is presenting the same classified evidence to the Seventh Circuit that they presented to Judge Coleman. But I don't know since not only do I not get to be there, but I didn't even get to object. I had to, I had to object over the fact that I couldn't even make an objection. I think the optics of it say it all, okay? Um, this is an issue, in our opinion, of whether the adversarial system in this country, it's been here forever, is going to survive the war on terror. And the appearance of it is, is that it's not, because the war on terror is more important. That's kind of my read of the situation, and that's the argument that we've been fighting against all this time. What's happening is we're having a two-tier justice system in the federal criminal courts. And that is we have cases on the war on terror, which we allow secret proceedings in because it's so sensitive. And then we have our regular old justice system. And I think that's a very frightening moment. I think anybody that witnessed what happened there and witnessed some 20 people, I, I love the idea that the government is so worried about an inadvertent leak but there were at least 20 to 25 people, I counted, permitted to go in there and listen to all this. And it, it's, that's farcical, I think. I'm talking about the government now. I'm not talking about the court. I'm talking the government's argument in that regard, and the whole process is a farce, I think.